I knew it was possible now. There's different ways to build this knowing. And then I got my dunk, now it's 100%. What the heck is next? What if that is a dream to reality? Yes, it is a practice, but you gotta add the effort. Keep it real simple. I'm the one that make it happen. I'm not trying to tell y'all this the path. Go get it. Don't you rather make excuses eat the way you still the key? What's good? My name is Steven. Today, welcome to the Dunk Life School of Removing Limits. Let's get into it. Look, this is something I learned from my very first dunk that's catapulted me into every aspect of my life, removing the limits from my business, doing what I love, my relationships, the place I live, everything I do, my creativity, my ability to make videos and make paintings and make rap music, everything. So this is a mindset, it is the limitless mindset, it is the limitless foundation to your energy, it is everything. So. I'm gonna hopefully try to explain this concept to you so you can go do anything you wanna do, whether you haven't dunked and you're trying to get your first dunk, whether you've dunked and you wanna expand your entire life, that's what it's about, let's go. So, every single thing in your life has this cycle of knowing and experience. And when I go through this, feel free to drop any questions you have with your current understanding of life and your current experience, and I would love to try to give my feedback on how you can proceed to remove your limits through them. So let's use dunking as an example. Before I could dunk, before I even started training, my experience of dunking was non-existent and my knowing was 0%. I had no knowing, I had no self-belief, I had no understanding of how to dunk, it was 0%. Now what shifted my entire life, my entire ability to dunk was my ability to give myself a 1% chance to dunk. And the reason for that was just simply having the balls. So I can't grow balls for you, but hopefully by the end of this you realize it's just stepping into that unknown to start your path towards the experience you want. Now the reason for this cycle is now that I can dunk, my experience of dunking is now 100%, and now this will get clearer as it goes, so stick with me. My experience of dunking is now 100%. My knowing that I can do it is 100% because I had the experience. Now before you actually experience anything you want, it will never be 100%. It'll be somewhere between, this is the unknown. Let's see, unknown is gonna be red, because unknown is scary. It's so scary, okay? Now that unknown is the path from knowing to experience, okay? And if you're not in this cycle, you're at 0%, okay? But anywhere from 1% to 99% means you're in this cycle. This cycle is just growth. So in this cycle is growth, expansion. And that's what we want out of life. Life is fun. We want to experience new things. Everything outside of our experience of the current now, the current knowing, this might be the now, is a greater expansive view of ourselves. But the way to get to that experience is going through this unknown. So now the reason I bring up the percentages, because this will be 100% down here, because now you've had the experience, when something like dunking for myself, when it was 0%, I didn't even start training. But then when it became 1%, and I'm just making up that number, I started the cycle of growth. And what I mean by that is, by the way, I'm loving this whiteboard thing. I wanna get an actual whiteboard. I make shifted it here. We're making do with it. We don't make excuses, which is the whole essence of this. Point is, 1% may have been, okay, maybe I can dunk, right? Maybe I can have this huge, let's put dunk down here. Dunk. Look at this basketball real quick we can make. That looks like a baseball, okay. So maybe I can dunk, maybe, just maybe. But the point is now it's a maybe, now it's a possibility. But the thing is it's 1%, so maybe I don't dunk yet. But maybe my knowing of touching the net is 99%, maybe because I haven't actually done it, but I know I can touch the net, so I go do it. No, see what I said there? I know I can touch the net, and then I touch it. Let's start with the net. I haven't touched it yet. Let's do backboard, because that's a little more um, resonating with me specifically. Say my backboard, I can touch the backboard, maybe I was close 
it's at 80% backboard. I go touch the backboard because I'm in the 80% realm. I touch it, now I know 100% I can touch the backboard. Now I'm back here. My now baseline is the backboard. Maybe I could touch the rim. Maybe my belief now of the rim before backboard was 50%, now that I can touch the backboard and it's 100%, my rim goes up to 80%. So let me map this out a little clearer for you. So let's start with the goals. We have backboard. This is just touching it, right? That's at 80%, if you can read that. Rim is at, uh, maybe I could touch rim. I give myself a 40% chance of rim, right? So I go for the backboard. I touch it. Boom. Okay? Now it's 100%. Cancel that back out. Backboard over here. 100%. Done. My rim might go up to 60%. Yo, I didn't really specify what those percentages mean. They're not, I can go touch the rim 60% of the time. What I mean by that, those percentages are the belief you have in yourself, how strong they are. If there's something that's 99%, it's gonna be easy for you to take that chance at the experience. And if it's low, it's gonna be harder. So we're trying to strengthen that belief. It gets clearer, hopefully that helps. Woo! Okay, now I go for the rim. I get that 100% rim, okay? So now rim is 100%. So now we have rim, check, okay? But the point is, when I go for the backboard, another big thing about taking these next steps is I'm not trying to dunk, I'm just trying to do these smaller steps. And when you do these smaller steps, you come back with more. You come back with much more knowing of what's possible, what, much more knowing of what you can improve. So this teaches you more to improve on, okay? So we can do like little addition signs. Now, because I touched the backboard, because I touched the rim, now I have video to work with, I have technique to work with, I have a feeling in my body because I went through the experience. That's the power. You touch the rim, now you're like, okay, next knowing, what's the next one? Grabbing the rim. What percentage is that at? How do I raise that percentage? And all of this is just the courage to go for it. Courage. You just need the courage, that's all. I hope you're liking this, okay. Point is, you go to grab the rim. I went to go hang on the rim, and I got it. I hung on it. it took me a bunch of tries. But when you, when say my my belief in grabbing and hanging on the rim was now at fifty percent, I'm like, oh my god, it, it was a dream for me, right? I go and I get closer, and I feel myself almost doing it. That's me acting. This action right here. Let's make a freaking orange one. That's those are the sparks. That action of going for the rim to try to hang on it and getting close, that's me, whatever percentage, doesn't matter, 1% to 99%, that's me attempting, stepping into the unknown, unknown, going for it. So you have to go for it, okay? So this is a mess, but this is how my brain works. You have to go for it. Now I hung on the rim, I got it. Now I'm like, oh my goodness. I start looking up videos, I see Andy Nicholson over the hill dunker, He's 5'10", he's 39, I was 18 at the time. It got me excited, I knew it was possible now. Do you see what I'm getting at? I saw Andy, shout out to Andy, he made his videos, and he was white, which was relatable to me, and he showed him training from backboard to dunking. Now I knew it was 100% possible. So I went for it. So there's different ways to build this knowing. One was an example like Andy. He made me feel 100% I could do it because I thought to myself, White guy, 5'10", 39, I'm 18, I got 30 years to go. Yeah, it's 30, right? I got 30 years, 20? 20 years to train, whatever it is, to be able to do what he's doing, I can do it. And he resonated with me because of his athletic ability at the time. So that strengthened my knowing to now go for the experience. But even without him, my experience, that led to future things where I got to my dunk, so let's go. I got to my dunk because I believed through him, I believed stronger through the reps of the smaller goals and the smaller steps, and then I got my dunk, now it's 100%. Woo-hoo, woo-hoo. So now my thought is, what the heck is next? What else is possible? And now this is where you start really pushing the limits because you achieve something that once was 0%. That is a dream to reality. That is a total paradigm shift in your life. And now the reason for that is so big is because there was a 0% for me. So I, and I didn't even try for a long time, for years. 
I was 18. Now I'm seeing kids starting at 14, 15 because they have a belief. But if I would have had that 1% or that ability to say, what if? That's the biggest question is, what if? Okay, now I may change this real quick. Okay, so I'm going to take this off and we're going to talk now about blocks. So that's the cycle of growth. This is fun. Your blocks. You have one where you might say you're too short. Minus, minus. You might say your genetics. You might say your resources. No access to gym. Okay. I call these blocks because they are just limiting. Bring you back. I call these blocks because they are just limiting you from starting this cycle of growth. These blocks are what's in between the 0% and this, are right here. Boom. All of these, too short. It's genetics. I don't have access to a gym. Anything you can think of that's separating you from your experience is a block from you starting this cycle. So my goal for you is just take one step. Take the first step towards the experience you want. Instead of saying, I, this is too short, short I'm not going to do it. I don't have the right genetics, I'm not going to start. I don't have the resources, I'm not going to start. You don't enter that cycle and then you don't have the experience to grow from, to learn from, to build your knowing. So let's go over too short. We have people 5'5 five, five dunking. And then the other mindset of that is, what if? What if I'm the first person at five feet that can dunk, right? And the thing is, if I thought I was too short, which I did, I would have never started my training. Let's talk about genetics. People say, oh, it's my genetics. Why not, with your genetics, inspire the world that you can do it with your so on quote unquote poor genetics? And then for me, I had that thought. That's why I, all these things I've had, by the way, I had genetics problems. I was like, I can't get this shredded. I can't get the abs I want. I can't get the body I want. Maybe my body can't handle this limit or can't push past this limit. But I decided against that. I said, what if I can? And then I got to new levels. And it was looking back, it was all just blocks I had limiting me from my potential from starting that cycle and it, fears come up, doubts come up, but that's when you, you keep reinforcing your learning, you learn more and you keep going. If I didn't overcome that, I wouldn't have learned about my body, I wouldn't have gotten in the best shape of my life and I wouldn't have gotten my body this pain free and jumped as high as I do and looked the way I look. Lastly is the resources. And by the way, real quick tangent, all of these are real currently. So I'm going to go over the mindset of how you can overcome these things and bring power back to yourself so you can remove your limits going forward. Resources, no access to a gym. I had a nine to five job. I was working out in the morning, working out at lunch, working out after, the, after work when I was exhausted. I didn't like it. I wasn't happy. I wasn't fulfilled. So I said to myself, I want to train when I want, how I want, where I want. Because I loved training that much, it brought joy to my life. So that's a huge block for people is, why do I, should I train, where is this leading? That goes back to that unknown, you, do, you just want the experience to enjoy life to the fullest. That's the end goal with all of this, by the way. And another part of this nine to five is not only did I wanna just train, but I was a creative person, I wanna make videos, I wanna do things I love, and I, my inspiration was hitting and I had to go to work, I had to sit at my desk, and I did not want that. I was not fulfilled, I wasn't happy. So I wanted to create a life of freedom. So, these are excuses, but I don't wanna say that. Use these blocks as a way to illuminate what you want. So instead of letting the blocks bring you back, Use them to compel you, propel you forwards to say, I don't have access to a gym. Okay, in the future, I want access to a real gym. What could I do now to start working? Because don't let it stop you in the now. And the reason you don't want to say I'm too short or the genetics or the resources is because the mindset you're shaping. Because if you let it, it's going to keep you stuck, stuck in the past. But... If you see these as opportunities to jump into the cycle of limitless energy, now you're going forward. What if I can do this? What if I can overcome that? Uh, what could I do with the resources I have now? Now you're crafting a totally different mentality and that leads me to the next piece. I'm a very, okay, let's do this. This is an eye if you can't tell. I'm a very visual person. So the way you look at things changes the way you see things. Wayne Dyer said, that. When you change the way you see things, the way you see things changes. So like those blocks I just said, when you see them as a way to illuminate what you want out of life, so what you want, you want to enjoy, you want to live with passion. This is where you are now. This is what's real, quote unquote. 
This is your desires, right? With these blocks, let's get all my papers. So now you have these blocks. Whatever is stopping you from getting into the growth cycle. Change the way you see the blocks, okay? So you're gonna look at your blocks and you say, okay, I, I understand that this is real now. But another huge key is this. Everything in your current situation is a result of your past thinking. So all your thoughts led up to this moment, and I'm sorry if your situation's not the way you want it, terrible things are happening, but the flip side of that is you can change the way you think going forward to start crafting the new life you want. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to change your mind and change the way you perceive things so that way all these blocks are now going to help you take that first step into your new life. Last paper. So now you have the now and the future experience. That's all it is. Your past led to your now, right? That's just science and life. That's, that's not even science. That's just what's happening. I don't, I don't know what's happening either. So a lot of this is just like we're living in the quantum, have a little more fun with life. But anyway, you're in now, you're going to the future experience, right? You have these blocks. See them as blocks, okay? Change the way you see them. These are little eyes. Wait, can I make those eyes like this? Like the ones the emoji? And that'll allow you to get into the cycle of growth, which is gonna lead to a new future experience. You have your now. Notice your blocks. Build your awareness on anything you want that feels like it's not the situation you want and what you want in your desire. Feel what this is and then take the first step. All you need is the very first step. And the thing you need for that first step is a little bit of balls. So at the end of the day, we're back to balls. And what's fun about jumping is it's literally a leap into faith. You're jumping into faith. You're having faith that you're going to learn something. So no matter what you do, when you go for it and you have a new experience, it doesn't have to be your ultimate experience, but it's an, an experience. You have to have an experience to build your knowing. Your experience you're having is just an expression of what you know. So if you're not moving anywhere, this is not the best because it looks like you're just going in a circle, but you're really growing and keep going this way, right? So if you know you can dunk, you can express that. If you know, if you know you're close to a new experience, you can go express yourself to get that experience. It's when that gap is really big, we need to make it smaller by taking the first step and we need to build our confidence in ourselves and our courage to go for it. Limitless, baby. And simply put, when it comes to training, you have to push yourself and when you push yourself, it illuminates more of your knowing. It illuminates fears. You go to get bigger, you go to get stronger, you go to push yourself, I don't know what I'm doing. So you realize you don't have enough information or you realize you're afraid of getting hurt or you're afraid of doing something wrong or you're afraid of failing. That's part of the knowing. So when you build this awareness around your knowing, it helps you express more and go have more experiences. But you have to get started and you have to have the experience to build the knowing. They're both, they're both inter intertwined. You get it. I hope this was, this was so much fun to make. I hope you guys enjoyed it, so. <laughs> new merch, new stuff. I'm dunking like crazy. I mean, he's banging, boy, this is fun. So literally what I learned from my first dunk, didn't know it till now, but everything follows that pattern and I hope that helps. Stay limitless, my friends. Woo! Had a bad day, but I bounced right back. This no fluke, cause I'm on my path. When I hit that speed, gotta stay on track. There are no shortcut, you already know that. How you talk like that? His genetics are nice. This song work ain't six inch twice. Yes, I'm blessed, but I still gotta press. God, do what you can, but you gotta do the rest. I'm preaching this shit like your boy at a sermon. Stop with the search and start with the work. And I've been dropping knowledge, my YouTube at college with all of my videos could have already been flying. You too busy lying to yourself, that's deep. Sorry, but I'm trying to help. Repeat, sorry, but I'm trying to help. Waking you up to potential, you limitless. I am the proof you can choose what you want in the universe giving it how about you give it a shot fear is the op yes it's a known only place to grow and now you know let's see where you go will you step out or stay in your comfort zone i won't i won't stay in my comfort zone will you